Oh, please, God, send help. What is going on here? I swear we keep having good news come out, but then the stock keeps going down. Where is the momentum? So friends, let's talk about FAMI here. So doing an update here. So today was Monday. Over on the overall stock market, we really didn't see a lot happen today. Now, AMC is moving a little bit up here, expecting that to keep running up here slowly. But when it comes to a lot of other stocks, including FAMI, we're just not seeing a lot happen here. Now, we are expecting the quarterlies to come out this week, which should bring some movement here. But but honestly, the stock has still been doing okay. You know, we haven't lost a lot of ground at all. We're still playing around this 34, high 32, but not a lot else is going on right now. Pre-market today, we were actually seeing some pretty nice volume on this. A lot of buy-ins were going on. And then towards later in the day, we just saw massive dumping going on. Okay, so hear me out. Here's where I lose people and maybe gain people. But obviously, I am in this. I've got quite a bit of money wrapped up in this. Not a whole lot. I think I've got right around like a thousand bucks mixed up in this right now. And obviously, I know that's a small portion for the guy that's going to message me and say like I've got like 30 grand. That's great. That's grand. We need you to stay in the fight here if you're willing to. But for me, one of the middle guys here, not a lot, but enough to say I am in this. So I am still fairly bullish on this. And right now, when I say I'm bullish, I'm bullish in segments on this. So obviously, this is the week. This is the week where, you know, something has got to happen. If it does not happen this week, if we do not, you know, obviously, I dare say this is like the next few days we've got for this thing to hit a dollar and keep a dollar. And obviously, if that doesn't happen, then we're going to go into a whole different situation where most likely they will have that December meeting where they will file for extension for them to hit this dollar mark. But the crazy situation we're seeing right now with this company is that we're we're seeing a lot of good news come out with it. You know, this it's a very weird situation. And I don't know if this is reacting because this is not an American company. This is obviously a company based in China. So I dare say it is reacting a little different because generally on most stocks, anytime there's any kind of good trade talk, expanding business, things that we've seen with this company here just in the past 30 days, stocks usually react to it. This one is not reacting the same. But what I do know is that if you go into any chat room, Discord situation right now, this thing is being talked about very heavily and it's getting a lot of people's attention for the fact that it is holding this 30 cent mark and that we have quarterlies coming up and that it is up against the wall right now, which this will bring in the attention of a lot of day traders, people looking for a fast in and out squeeze. So it's a very interesting situation we find ourselves in right now with this. So friends, I'm not going to talk too much more on this. You know, there's not a lot of new things going on right now. I'm not going to start talking about dark pools, hitting shares, all this stuff, floats, all that stuff. We're just going to talk about what's in front of us right now and what we know. We know that we're up against the wall. We know that every day from here on out, especially this week, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, very critical days, Friday, the last and very critical day. Then after that, we will go into phase two if nothing happens this week. And friends, here's what I want to say. If this thing does not pop a dollar this week, don't think like, oh, it's over. I'm just going to take my losses and go. This company is still actively moving and capturing deals. It is, it's still a very good company right now. It's coming out with a lot of good news. Obviously, you do what you want to do. You are your own investor, but you have to realize too, me personally, I invested in this because I could see a squeeze happening here this week, but I could really see this company turning into something here. And especially when we talk about trade, obviously, the Biden administration is very heavily focused on trade with China. This is a company based in China. So any good news we have based around that is probably going to be good for this stock in the long run. So friends, like I said, every day is critical right now. We are watching this step by step to see if we start getting somewhere. And if this can get into a 40 range here and close on a 40 range, I'm pretty confident we could see the starts here of walking into a dollar. And what I will say is it's not going to take long time wise for this to hit a dollar if it were to do so this week. There's plenty of things we've watched in the stock market over time that have walked into a dollar within 48 hours, even 24 hours. I mean, that's that's the time and that's the day and times of the stock market right now. You can wake up and something can be 
400% up. So friends, we are in some deep waters right now. <laughs> Maybe shallow waters, however you want to say that, but I'm in, I'm really excited here. I, I like where this is going. When I put money in this, I knew this could go either way. And either way, I'm still very excited about where this is going. So friends, we will do an update very soon. Maybe tomorrow, let's see what happens here. I don't want to bore people with nothing actually happening here. But if we do see this move a little bit tomorrow or some more news break here, we'll talk about it tomorrow, if not the next day, for sure, Wednesday. Friends, quarterly is coming very soon, so keep that in your mind. With all that said, remember, be positive, be you. Take time to invest in that future of yours. Friends, I love you. I love you. Thanks for being here. I'll talk to you real soon. Bye, everyone. Bye.